Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? So in today's video, we are going to be reacting to Big Heat Energy. He did a mock off season Mikel Bridges edition. And um, you could tell he put a lot of work into this, man. So definitely go check out his Twitter page right here, Big Heat Energy. And um, yeah, but before we do start today's video, if you guys enjoy Miami Heat content and want to stay updated to all heat news rumors and stuff like that especially with the draft and free agency around the corner smash that subscribe button turn on post notifications to stay notified drop a like to get this video out to even more and comment down of what do you guys think about this potential mock off season for the miami heat and you guys already know y'all the best supporters in the world i love you guys so so much but anyways, let's get into today's video. Now, y'all probably looking at this and be like, why the hell would we do this, right? You know, we want Donovan Mitchell. If we don't get Donovan Mitchell, we want DeJounte Murray. We want these other star players like a Trey Young. Mikael Bridges is not that type of player that I, or talking for the fans wise, right, personally want. Now, hear me out. I do want to say this, and I did say this in my Donovan Mitchell video that you know, I personally don't think Donovan Mitchell is coming to the Miami Heat, and I don't want to get our hopes up. So we have to move on from that because Mitchell, at the end of the day, it's either he signs a contract extension or or not, and then he will get traded. But that doesn't mean he's going to get traded to the Miami Heat. We dealt with this last season with Dame Lillard. We waited, we waited, we waited, and then he never got traded to us. And then we lost out on so many free agents. We lost out on so many key role players it just was super super unfortunate and i tell you guys this year i will not be going through that pain ever again because that's what it kind of feels like it's like this offseason is like donovan mitchell or it's over with like the miami heat are not going to get any better they're not going to have a chance to win a championship like stuff like that and i'm over that i'm not thinking about that so this is the reason why i'm reacting to what big heat energy has brought up so it says the Miami Heat get Mikael Bridges, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Dennis Schroeder. Now, let's not forget, Mikael Bridges is a star player in this league. Ever since, well, even with the Phoenix Suns, let's let's be honest, he he was pr pretty, pretty good. But his full potential wasn't there because he was getting, you know, hold back a little bit um, playing with Devin Booker and Chris Ball and stuff like that. But he showed growth and definitely showed some spurts. But looking at Mikael Bridges' numbers for the Brooklyn Nets, and also he does fit the BAM timeline if you really want to think about it. He's 27 years old. Has a wingspan of 7-1, and he's about 6'6". Six, six. Um, this year, his points are down compared to last year, but he did play 82 games, and that's one dude that he's a superhuman. The dude's always going to play, no matter what. <laughs> I feel like he's never really injured, um, to be honest with you. Um, but average about 20 points a game, 43% for the field, 38%, well, 37% for the three-point line, 4.5 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and one steal. His numbers were up and down this year, um, but you can definitely tell that the Brooklyn... They, they weren't making a playoff, so these numbers I'm not too, too worried about. But what we did see is that he does have the ability to give you 30 at night. I mean, the season before, I averaged 26 points a game, 47% for the field, 37% from the three-point line, four and a half rebounds, 2.7 assists and a steal. He brings you that perimeter defense. He brings you that offensive scoring, too. And also, one thing that he is going to do is that he is going to be there out, um, be there every single night. So... That's that's the reason why he's part of this big, big mark trade. Now, you know, we're going to go back onto the screen right here. Um, and then obviously a lot of Miami Heat fans have been wanting Dorian Finney-Smith. They want him because he's one of those dudes that's a 3 and D guy that can, catch, um, you know, help your team out. Especially that if you're a championship contender team, um, if he's healthy out there, he's about 6'7 um, and can shoot the three at a high clip personally. Well, not a high clip, but about 35% from the three-point line, which I'll show on the screen right here. Um, so as you guys notice, we are getting more like def like more defensive. Um, but 8.5 points, 42% from the field, 34.8% from the three-point line, 4.7 rebounds, 1.6 assists, and 0 0.8 steals. And so what I look at when I look at a three-point percentage, um, and I'll show you on the screen right here, is that I look at how much three-point attempts is he attempting right so he's shooting about five and he's shooting about 35 percent which is okay not the greatest but definitely brings us strength definitely brings us more de defensively and um i personally wouldn't mind bringing him um onto this team like i said we've been wanting him for a while and um stuff like that so and then obviously the last piece will be a dennis shooter which i don't really care for dennis shooter but he could play that backup point guard uh, role has starter 
minutes, has started minutes for the Lakers, has started minutes for Toronto, for Brooklyn Nets. Uh, but I think he definitely would be a solid six man. Now, it says the Brooklyn Nets get Tyler Hero, Jaime Duncan Robinson, pick 15 in a uh, future first. Now, I'm willing to trade Tyler Hero, to be honest with you guys. Um, Jaime, it, it, it does get a little bit interesting because I feel like you're throwing a lot, especially with, you know, two firsts. And two young players, but I'm definitely willing to trade Tyler any day. And then also you're giving out one of your best shooters. Um, so you let us know what you guys think about this trade right here. But also, what else it continues to say is to sign Andre Drummond and Gordon Hayward to vet minimum deals. Now, Andre Drummond, I personally want him on my team. I've been saying this. I actually made a video um, about him, you know, of positions for the centers that they should sign. And um, Andre Drummond was definitely part of that list. And um, I'll bring up his numbers up to the screen right here. Um, for the Chicago Bulls, played 79, 82 games. Only played 17 minutes a game, but averaged about 8 points a game, 55% for the field and 9 rebounds. And I will say, one thing about the Miami Heat is that they never really had a good backup center. You know, we dealt with Dwayne Dedman. We, de you know, we dealt with Cody Zeller, now Thomas Bryant. Um, I think Andre Drummond would fit that role perfectly. Fine. Now, personally, when he says Gordon Hayward, I'm not saying he's washed because he's still damn near average 14 points a game when he was used right with the Charlotte Hornets around there, at least. OKC didn't really, really do much. I don't think it was a good, good fit, but I just don't see Gordon Hayward signing for a vet minimum. I personally don't see it. So I don't think we could pull that off. But what his rotations is pretty much saying is that he's going to have Rosier, Bridges, Butler, Jovic, and Bam at the starting, uh, starting positions. Um, so we do get a little bit bigger with Bridges and Butler right there. Jovic still at the four and Bam at the five. And then coming off the bench, Schroeder, Wright, Hayward, Dorian Finney-Smith and Drummond. And then obviously Alonda Williams, Jamal Cain, Swider, and Orlando Robinson. So you guys let us know in the comment sections of how do you feel about this mock offseason draft. Uh, well, offseason um, free agency. Like I said, I think he's more thinking about if we don't get Donovan Mitchell, if we don't get Trey Young, if we don't get Dejon Tate Murray, I think it's solid. Um, but I definitely, it is interesting. I don't know what Mikhail Bridges' value is. That's the problem. I think Brooklyn is definitely going to overvalue it. I I truthfully think that. So um, we'll see. And then also you got to think about like, is Brooklyn willing to trade Mikhail to an Eastern Conference team? There's still a lot of questions, but definitely think it's solid. Definitely think Big Heat Energy put a lot of work into this. So once again, go check them out. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like once again, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And um, like I said, we consistently drop videos Monday through Friday, have Saturday and Sunday off, and you know, drop five out of seven days. So subscribe for more Miami Heat content. Peace.